In November last year I've separated my best quality lazuli blue male guppy juvenile with three fries of snow white guppy. One of them turned out to be male and therefore has been moved to a different aquarium to secure that the females will only be hit by the male that I've selected. I've been expecting drop of this female any day now as the last drop was exactly one month ago and it was also her first one with only six babies. On this video you will see only her second drop and therefore I again expect only around 10 to 15 babies as it still is relatively young fish. I've noticed the male following female behind her belly, what usually means that he feels she will give her birth anytime, giving him the opportunity to feed on freshly born fry. I breed my guppies in heavily blended aquariums the natural way and I'm not using breeding box at all. In this video you'll be able to see the important role of plants not only providing the cover for fry, but also for female to find some safe place and cover from other fish to be able to give a birth without stress. In many videos with females giving birth in breeding boxes you can see them swimming around, being stressed or giving birth in community tanks many times being chased by other fish. Here you can see that once female feels the baby is coming, she'll find a safe quiet place away from other fish. Now in calm and safe place she'll prepare to drop the fry. Being in a safe place, it's time to drop the fry. During the first hours of life babies are really vulnerable and weak and therefore this is the time when they need cover the most. Herns can easily hunt them down and eat them as they are really high protein snack for them. However, as you can see on a the video, they can camouflage really well. Next morning the babies are much stronger and much more active, swimming all around the tank but still being close to their hiding spots in case that some parent would like to chase them. Having such a small fins is actually their advantage right now as they are much quicker than their parents and even if they are trying to chase them they'll majority of time escape easily. Thank you. 
I always give my newborn guppies around 24 hours to become a bit more hardy before I'll net them out and place them in their own grow up tank where they don't need to hide anymore. So now I'll gently net them all out and place them to their new fully cycled home where they'll join their one month old siblings. In this second drop the female had exactly 11 babies, so almost double than her first drop, and this number will definitely increase as she'll get older, although with these fancy guppy strains, the amount of babies usually stay relatively small.